It's been two months since the whole crypto market came crumbling down. It's been trading sideways ever since, but however, there's one part of the crypto community that has been experiencing huge ass gains. Today, we'll be taking a look at the NFT space and see how we can capture some of these gains. All right, uh, so before we go any further, I guess one thing is a lot of people are asking, what are NFTs? Um, if you're new to the space, what are NFTs? So I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm just gonna do a very short explanation of NFTs. What are NFTs? NFTs is short for non-fungible tokens. And we just had a siren go by. <laughs> uh, so fungible, what does fungible mean? Fungible means that you can trade one particular thing for another thing. So let's say for the instance of Bitcoin, if I have one Bitcoin and you know Joe across the street has one Bitcoin, we can exchange Bitcoin. So I can trade him my Bitcoin and he can give me his Bitcoin and it still really is the same thing, right? That's what fungibility is, meaning that you can exchange, you know, in this case, Bitcoin, and you know, one Bitcoin is equal to one Bitcoin, right? But with non-fungible tokens, it means that, let's say with baseball cards or basketball cards, I have a Michael Jordan rookie card, and the guy across the street has a LeBron James rookie card, right? Those are two completely different things. I can't just give him my Michael Jordan card because it's not the same thing. And he can't just give me, or he, he can't just give his LeBron card to me because it's not, it's not the same thing, right? So with NFTs, it's basically any digital asset that can be verified on the blockchain. Um, so NFT can be in the form of digital art. You know, it could be something like this, digital art. It could be in the form of audio digital audio like with muse one of my favorite bands growing up uh, matt bellamy the lead singer here released the song record on jeff buckley's guitar as an nft um so you know musicians that i'm seeing right now they're actually getting into this nft game where if someone possesses this particular token right they have access to you know special audio that has not been released to the public like in this case it's like some kind of special demo i think uh, released or some kind of track that hasn't been released to the public um, and then the other form an NFT can take is real estate I mean recently this property in Ukraine was sold uh, for 36 ETH somebody it was a, based on an auction um, basically whoever possesses this NFT has ownership to this property which is absolutely insane now who knows? I mean, this is probably where the future is going to be. NFTs can, you know, do stuff like this, which is absolutely mind boggling, you know? So it can be in many forms. It can be many forms. Okay. So one thing is, I just want to make it clear, guys, that I'm just showing you how I made money. It's not that I want you guys to necessarily go out there and buy NFTs, right? Um, you know, a lot of these projects can actually go to zero like that. I mean, it's very quick. I mean, a lot of these projects can go down 50%, 100% very quickly, even faster than coins. I'm not saying you guys go in there and buy these NFTs, but I just want to show you that if you keep an eye out on the next project to take off, uh, then you can actually make a lot of gains. So how did I make gains with the Doge Pound? So before in before these jpegs hit the open market or hit the secondary market which is on open c right you can actually go on their website um and you can actually mint these nfts for real cheap so if i go on the doge pound website i'll show you where is that so i actually minted these doge pound nfts um before they all got sold out and so how much was the price of the uh, so the price of minting a doge pound nft was 0 0.069 eth so i actually purchased quite a bit of these uh, i minted a lot of doge pound nfts and uh, in the process i actually got some rare ones which i'm still hodling right now and you know what if i were to try and sell them now it could be I'm seeing one going for two, three ETH at the moment right now. So I'm just holding, holding on to it. I'm not selling them. It could go to zero, but hey, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so how I, in my opinion, if you want to make 
money uh, on NFTs right now, you got to get into these projects early. You got to mint them um, before they sell out and go on the open market. So I was fortunate to find this project early on thanks to a Twitter, um, thanks to Alex Becker on YouTube. I follow him on Twitter and he actually um, was shilling this project on his Twitter. Um, and uh, yeah, so he was shilling on his Twitter. And I basically just minted uh, you know, quite a, quite a bit and I was able to I think that yeah. So if you look at the uh, the floor price for Doge Pound, right now the floor price is 0.29, right? So if you minted a Doge Pound NFT at 0.065, you're basically, or sorry, 0.069, right? You're pretty much almost five times your money, right? Which is absolutely uh, that's pretty good in just two days. Because I uh, I minted mine on Saturday and today's Monday, so it's it's up five times. So what makes, one thing I want to show you guys is that with these NFTs, with these avatar projects, okay, what makes them valuable is that if you click on this one, I'll just pick this one right here, okay, um, if you go to properties, and each dog has its, you know, that has a trait that makes it unique, right, and some traits are actually more rare than other traits. So with this one, its mouth is grr, which is kind of funny. And 6% of, of all these dogs have this trait, okay? Sounds crazy. So you gotta look at the traits. I mean, the traits is what make these uh, avatar projects, like the Doge Pound, like this particular dog makes it more rare. So only 6% of dogs have this trait of the grr with its mouth, right? So grr. So if I click on grr, you'll see that other dogs here has that trait. Uh, this one's going for two ETH. Let's see if I want to go sort by low to high to see what the floor price is for this trait. Oh, these are just offers. Okay, so let's click on buy now. Yeah, so the, the lowest price for the GER trade is 0 0.32, 0 0.35, 0 0.36. So that's what you see, right? So you, if you had a a GER dog um, with that tra with a GER trait, right, you can sell it for 0.32, and someone would probably scoop it up. All right. Um, let's look at other trades here. So if you click on you look on the side here, um, let's go for clothing. Okay. Let's see what the most rare trait for clothing is here. Uh, so it's a Doge X space suit. Let's see here. So the Doge, you can see that with this trait, the lowest asking price for a Doge, 8, Doge X space suit is 15 ETH, 24 ETH. You know, it's ridiculous, right? Obviously, I don't know anyone would actually pay that much. Who knows? There might be somebody out there that might pay, but that's, you can see that. So if I click on this, you can see that the rarer the trait, the more valuable it is, right? So it's kind of like Pokemon cards. If you guys collected Pokemon cards back in the day, um, if you're a millennial, that is, if you're, <laughs> so if you go to properties, you can see that point. Oh, this one has golden jaws as trading. So you see 0.97% of this uh, of dogs have this trait, uh, and then you got point was a point one five percent has the Doge X spacesuit. So that's a trick that you can uh, see for yourself on how to you know value how much an NFT is worth by looking at its trait or its properties. Okay, if it possesses a lot of rare traits, then it's more valuable. Okay, so that's it. So that's one particular example with the Doge Pound. So. How do you find? So how do you find um, up and coming projects uh, if you want to mint them, right? So a, pro, uh, a website that I uh, recommend is going to Rarity Tools. And if you go to upcoming, so you can see upcoming projects right now that haven't sold out.
um, one this is one project that I'm actually keeping an eye on is the lonely alien space club okay this is a project if I go on their website so you can see the total supply is 10,000 total uh, each uh, alien NFT if you want to mint it is 0 0.06 ETH uh, so let's go to lonelyaliens.com enter again I'm not saying you guys go out and buy this though there is an opportunity here not financial advice but I'm just telling you what I'm doing I'm not going to connect my MetaMask or maybe I should uh, just give me a second okay so yes with this one 0 0.06 ETH so you can see right now uh, if you want to mint this particular entity um, 0 0.06 ETH plus the gas fee which you have to pay uh, so right now 7,830 aliens have been minted so there's still another 2,200 a little less than 2,200 2, aliens to be minted um, so this is a project that I think uh, is going to do well because usually projects that sell out through their minting process end up uh, not not all of them but they have a better chance of doing well on open sea because you know if there's demand obviously there's demand there's you know there's people actually minting it um then there's actually demand for it right so actually there are some alien nfts on the open sea marketplace so if i go here to lonely alien space club So these are some of the NFTs right now that are selling on the OpenSea marketplace. Again, using the same principle, some of these um, aliens are more rare than others, right? Because they have rarer traits. So if you click on this one, go to properties, you can see all the traits right here, okay? Um, some traits are more rare than others. So you got, uh, this one's 0.46% for a purple beanie. <laughs> So I mean point yeah this purple beanie so 0.06% of 10,000 aliens has a purple beanie so a purple beanie is actually really rare so you can see that uh, you got to pay attention to the properties right not all aliens are created equal <laughs> okay so that's one thing so yeah, you can definitely see other projects here. These are projects that are coming up right now. Um, some of them are actually already in their minting process, like Reckless Whales looks like it came out on Sunday. Sunday, I haven't even looked at these ones yet, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so just keep an eye on Rarity Tools. I'm keeping my eyes right now on the Lonely Aliens uh, Space Club. I actually got, uh, I think six, I minted six of them. So I might mint some more uh, just before they all sell out and hit, uh, hit the open market. So yeah, so those are traits right there. Um, those are some projects that I'm keeping an eye on. So all in all guys, um, these avatar projects right now are just taking off. It's absolutely insane um, how much these JPEGs are going for. But you know what? If you got celebrities like Mike Tyson and Jay Z putting these as their profile pictures, you know this could be something pretty awesome. I mean, NFTs can have you know many use cases. You know, a lot of people can you know find these creative use cases for it, right? Like, for instance, with Mike Tyson, let's say if you have a Cool Cat NFT, you can uh, you know you can have like special VIP um, memberships to whatever service he offers or you can you know spend some uh, you can actually send him a message if you have a cool cat nft so i mean there's some you know some creative use cases for it you know for celebrities uh to adopt the avatars like these nfts right um so i mean yeah i mean us humans we like to have things that are valuable right we like you know on social media we like to have a lot of likes we like to have a lot of followers right so i mean who knows i mean nfts like this can be the next big thing for um you know to have a profile picture as something cool like that people will probably pay for stuff like this right um but that being said 
right now there are a lot of nft projects on the market right that you know what it's it's pretty much is a bubble right now so a lot of them will probably go to zero but with the ones that do survive those are the ones that are going to be worth a lot and you know if anything like you look at CryptoPunks, it's been around for about four or five years now right and it's worth a lot right now uh board eight yacht club could be the next big thing right cool cats could be the next big thing um and then you got some wild cards down here so definitely keep your eyes on the nft space um there's a lot of gains to be made but at the same time be careful it's very risky i'm not recommending you guys go out there but i just want to show you guys that it's possible if you're looking to try and get gains in the crypto market while everything's down this is the place to be checking things out okay so with that being said if you guys like the content smash the like button remember to remember just to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time